We want to remain in this posture as the chest is relaxed in our next practice of push the mountains. As we maintain this relaxed and upright posture, we allow the arms to float up by the sides, lifting the shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, hands and fingers until arms form a straight line. Bend the wrists to the 90 degree angle or as close to 90 degrees as you are able. Whole body relaxed and quiet. Allow the body to become an energetic scarecrow. So this is a static practice, so no movement. In the standing posture, feel the body as empty, yet not empty. Perceive the gentle stretch from the center of the chest, emanating from the spine, perceiving the arms straighten. Imagine chi columns from the earth expanding up, allowing the elbows to rest on the chi columns. In this body posture, we continue to raise Fahue, top of the head, tuck in the chin, relax the chest, relax the shoulders. Again, arms are straight. The elbows are not bent. Perceive the center of the palms connected to the horizon, being supported by the horizon. Continue to relax the torso, navel reaching towards the low back. Raise Hui Yin, tuck in the lower abdomen. Relax the low back, tailbone pointing to the earth. Legs are straight but not locked and shift the weight forward slightly, ensuring the weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Whole body relaxed and quiet. Continue to scan the body. Where can you relax even more? Perceiving the chi inside, connecting to the chi outside, being supported by the abundant chi connecting to each other, heart to heart, and mind to mind. In our group chi field, we are supporting each other. Continue to maintain this posture for a few more moments. Breathing in and breathing out naturally. perceiving the benefits of this practice. As we stretch the arms outward, we are naturally opening the chest, perceiving the meridians, opening of the arms, perceiving the lungs naturally expanding, the heart relaxing inside the chest. Very good. From here, we turn the palms to face the earth. Tong Pi. Allow one shoulder to come to the other shoulder and raise the arm up. So a shoulder to shoulder. Let the arms wave by the sides. Very relaxed. Feeling one shoulder blade move to the other shoulder blade. 
Very good. From here, let the arms again come to form a straight line. Lower the arms down slowly. Slowly. This time, we're going to bring the elbows to physically touch the sides of the rib cage. Let the palms come towards each other. Palms without touching. Keep the elbows connected to the rib cage. Open the palms a little bit and then close. Open and close. Open and close. A few more times at your own rhythm. Start to notice the space between the palms. Notice any sensation. Some of us may feel a tingling, a gentle pressure. This is chi. If we don't feel anything, that's quite all right. It's still there. Good, from here, now we open the elbows out as we draw the palms once again towards the navel. Right hand first for women, left for men. Taking these moments to nourish chi. Again, the space behind the navel is called lower dantian, our lower elixir field and we nourish this area for our physical health and healing. Knowing where the mind goes, chi follows. Filling. Filling. Here, we open the arms back to the starting position. In a moment, we're going to raise the arms once again. I'm going to come closer to the screen so that we can see the movement. So with the arms straightened, again, I'm demonstrating, we're going to focus on what's called eagle claw. So we're gonna bring a lot of attention to the tips of the fingers. And like talons, we're going to close the fingers Bring the fingertips to touch. We're going to bring the fingers towards the center of the palm without touching the center. Bend the wrist. Joint by joint, we're going to raise the fingers up. So again, eagle claw, bringing attention to the tips of the fingers, drawing all the fingertips to touch. Fingertips towards the center of the palm. Bend the wrist. Joint by joint, we raise the fingers up and continue. From there, our next exercise is going to be opening the hands. So we're gonna have our palms in this position. I want us to focus our fingers, feel our fingers all the way to the bottom of the wrist. So we're simply going to open the thumb and the little finger. So really feel the stretch, then index finger and ring finger. Then center the palm expands out. Then bring together index finger, ring finger, thumb and little finger. So we're gonna do both of those exercises. And again, we wanna push ourselves but not hurt ourselves. If throughout the practice, when the arms are straight, we feel, ah, a lot, you know. Let yourself just come a little bit lower but continue the movement. Okay, very good. So from here with arms by the sides, let us raise the arms up. Again, feeling the arms as if they're floating through space. Again, be aware of the pelvic posture, tucking in the lower abdomen with the arms straight here. I want us to do eagle claw. So drawing the awareness to the fingertips, 
We're going to bring the fingertips to touch, bring the fingertips towards the center of the palms, bend the wrists, joint by joint, we raise the fingers up. Again, eagle claw stretching, feeling tips of the fingers touch each other, tips of the fingers towards the center of the palm, bend the wrists, joint by joint, we raise the fingers up. One last time, eagle claw, as we touch, we squeeze, fingertips to the center of the palms, bend the wrists, relax the shoulders, joint by joint, we raise the fingers up. From here, with the palms in this position, again, we're going to open the thumb and the little fingers, open the ring finger, index finger, center the palms, stretch out. Draw together, index finger, ring finger, thumb and little finger. Open, index, or little finger and thumb, open, index finger, ring finger, push out. Close, close. One last time. Open, open, push out. Close, close. Again, turn the palms to face the earth. Tong Pi, shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Let the arms follow this serpentine movement. Let the shoulders be loose and relax. The arms relax as well. From here, as we keep the spine straight, we slow down our movement. Coming back to center. From here, we lower the palms back to the starting position a few more times. Hold chi up. Up to above the head. Turn the palms down, core chi down. Wait for just a few moments before we physically draw the palms down. Palms over Bahue, sending chi inside to all structures of the head, the neck, all structures and organs of the chest, the abdomen, the pelvis, sending chi inside through all structures of the legs, feet and toes. Again, hold chi up effortlessly, using the least amount of effort to create the movement. Again, turn the palms to face top of the head, briefly staying in this position, then we lower the hands down. We can imagine the hands inside the center of the body. Perceive the chi as it's penetrating, nourishing, filling all structures, all systems of the body. 